channel knowledge of and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for the latest update. Today we want to start with your quantitative aptitude class. This is your class 126. 125 classes we had done in the last session. In quantitative aptitude we had started with arithmetical ability. In that we have to cover up your ratio and proportion. In ratio and proportion even though we had reached your 60th questions in the last classes we had done now we uh, 61 th question we had done and now we'll discuss start discussing about the 62 th question of the session in this classes but before starting with this it's a huge request to all the viewers to please go ahead with like share and subscribe so that many and maximum people can get the information at once and even though you can also enjoy the video as well let's go for the same and that is your the question is your 62 th question in 126 classes so let's uh, find it out where the questions we have the first question of this session is your 62th question and the question we have here is in a ratio which is equals to 3 ratio 4 if the antecedents is 12 then the consequent is that you have to find out and the options is 9, 16, 20 and 24. Let's find it out here. In our ratio of third proportion, in our ratio which is equal to 3 ratio 4 If the antecedent is 512, is 12, then, then the consequent is that you have to find out so consequent we have to find out here let's go for the solution we have three by four twelve x or twelve upon x so three x equals to 48 so which is equals to next equals to 8 that is 60 so consequent equals to Now we go for the next question that we talk about here and that is another one 63rd question the prices of a scooter and a TV are in the ratio 7 ratio 5 if the scooter costs rupees 8000 more than a TV set then the price of a TV set is that you have to find out the option is 20,000 and rupees 24,000, rupees 28,000 and rupees 32,000 so we have to find out for the same here the prices of a scooter and a TV are in the ratio which is are in the ratio 7 ratio 5 if the scooter cost if the scooter cost rupees 8000 more than a TV set 
then the price of a TV set is that we talk about it and that we go yeah Um, let's find it out. Let the prices of a scooter and a TV set be rupees seven x and rupees. 5x respectively then 7x minus 5x is equals to 8000 2x equals to 8000 x equals to 4000 ok so prices Price of a TV set seven into four thousand, which is equals to rupees twenty eight thousand. That we get here. So price of the TV is twenty eight thousand. That will be the right answer for this question here. Now we go for the next question and um, that is the another important question here which is your 64th question. An amount of rupees 735 was divided between A, B and C if each of them had received rupees 25 less their shares would have been in the ratio 1 ratio 3 ratio 2 the money received by C was the option is rupees 195, rupees 200, rupees 225 and rupees 245 let's find it out an amount of rupees 735 was divided between A, B, and C. If each of them had received a rupees twenty five less. Their shares would have been in the ratio one ratio, three ratio two. The money received by C was that what we have asked. Option is for rupees 195, rupees 200, rupees 225, and rupees 245. So we go for the same here. Coming down. Rupees seven thirty five minus twenty five into three goes to rupees 
that we have here uh, on the same way money received by C Six sixty into two by six. And that's twenty five is two twenty five. That we have. Now we go for the next one, which is your sixty fifth one. The sixty fifth question here. And the question we have an amount of rupees 2430 is divided among ABC such that if their shares be reduced by rupees 5, rupees 10, and rupees 15 respectively, the remainder shall be in the ratio of 3 ratio 4 ratio 5. Then B is the share was option is 605 790 800 and 810 let's find it out an amount of rupees 2430 is divided among Is divided among A, B, and C. Such that if their shares be reduced by Rupees 5, Rupees 10, and Rupees 15, respectively. The remainders shall be that is, remainders shall be in the ratio of. Then B is share was that we talk about it, which is 605, 790, 800, and 810. So let's find it out. Remainder. Was 2 rupees. Two four three zero minus five plus ten plus fifteen goes to the page twenty four hundred. Now B is the shell. equals to rupees twenty four hundred into four upon twelve twelve and the twelve twelve to the twenty four with three zeros four thousand and four thousand four multiply four that is six hundred plus ten and that is being cancelled it will give you rupees eight hundred and ten. 400 and uh, that is your 2 200 to 2 to 4 is the 8 800 800 plus 10 810 
so that will be your uh, piece the share will be 800 rupees 810 here now we go further and we talk about for the another question and that is of course the important one we'll go here and uh, let's find it out that the question is the ratio between the two number is 3 ratio 4 and their LCM is 180 the first number is that you have to talk about it option is 60 45 20 and 15 let's find it out so the ratio between two number is 3 ratio 4 and their LCM is 150 the first number is 30. you have to talk about it 60, 45, 20 or 15 let's go for the solution here Let the required number be three x and four x, then their LCM is. Twelve x. 12x goes to 180. So x equals to 15. And the first number is 45. Now we talk for the next question. Uh, that's what we have here. It's just another question is your 67th question. Question is an alloy is to contain copper. And zinc in the ratio. Nine is to four. The zinc required to be melted. To be melted with twenty four kg. of copper is this you have to solve it out and the option is 10 2 by 3 kg and it is in mixed fraction 10 1 by 3 kg 10 9 2 by 3 kg or 9 kg so we have to find it out that an alloy is to be contain copper and zinc in the ratio 9 ratio 4 the zinc required to be melted with 24 kg of copper and you have to find it out so let's find it out here as well um, that is uh, we have to go further let the required quantity of the copper be x kg let the required quantity of copper be x kg then 9 ratio 4 
24 ratio x 9x equals to 4 which is into 24 we have x equals to 4 into 24 upon 9 we have 10 to upon 3 so hence the required quantity hence the required quantity of copper is 10 to by 3 kg that we get here now we talk about for the another one which has been the another question that has been 68 question of the session let's go for the same here and that what we have to solve it out now we go for the 68 question here so the question we get 60 kg of an alloy A is mixed with 100 kg of alloy B if alloy A has led to a tin in the ratio 3 ratio 2 and alloy B has a tin in copper in the ratio 1 ratio 4 then the amount of the tin in the new alloy is that you have to find out has been asked in uh, the question and the options we have for the same 36 kg, 44 kg, 53 kg and 80 kg we go for the same here 60 kg of and alloy A is mixed with 100 kg of alloy B that is of alloy B if alloy A has lead and tin lead and tin in the ratio 3 ratio 1 3 ratio 2 And alloy B has tin and copper in the ratio one ratio two. In the ratio one ratio four, sorry. Then the amount of tin amount of tin and then you alloy alloy is that you have to find it out let's go for the same and we'll be going to find it out here and which will be as for this quantity of tin quantity of tin in 60 kg of A was to 60 into 2 by 5 kg which is equal to 24 kg okay 5 plus 5 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 5 now for the quantity that we have quantity of tin in 100 kg of B which we have here 100 into 1 upon 5 which is equals to 
The another we have quantity of 10 in 100 kg of sorry quantity of 10 in the new alloy which is 24 plus 20 kg that is equals to 44 kg that we have here so that is gonna be a right answer for this and we will further solve many of the questions related to it and that is the another question we talk about in the 127th question I just tell you the question if you are able to you can just solve by your side but if it, if it is not possible so at least try I will let you solve in the next coming class the question is gold is 10 ta 19 times as heavy as water and copper is 9 times as heavy as water in what ratio should these be mixed to get an alloy 15 times is heavy as water that has been the question you can solve by your side and we'll be going to continue the further questions in the next coming class so here we're going to end up with we had started with chemistry for class uh, uh, 11 part 2 and that is your physics part 1 for class 11 and uh, talking about uh, we had done your uh, reasoning which is in the verbal reasoning and non-verbal reasoning and uh, we are dealing with CBNST as well we had uh, dealing with many uh, related to English as well in terms of quantitative aptitude yes we had started with the first part arithmetical ability in that we had done numbers SCF and LCM of numbers decimal fraction simplification square roots and cube roots averages problems on numbers problems on ages size and indices percentage profit and loss and ratio and proportion we are in and after completing this we will do a partnership chain rule time and work vital system time and distance problems on trains boards and streams allegations of issues simple interest compound interest regarding area volume and surface area races and games of skills calendar clocks clocks and shoes permutation and combination probability to discount bankers discount height and distance admin of series in data interpretation, we have to cover up the tabulations, bar graphs, pie charts, and line graph. So here we go to end up with, and it's a huge request to all the viewers to please go ahead with like, share, and subscribe so that many and maximum people can get the information at once. And even you can also enjoy the video as well. Thank you. Hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and give us a suggestion in the comment box and stay tuned with us. Your support is very important to us and please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.